you think Echeverry's going to do for the revolution? I believe he'd be fantastic that he can uh, turn the club around. Really do. He helps a lot down in Southern Maryland. We're here for Echeverry's uh, first game against the Southern Maryland Blue Crabs where he has been a coach for the last two years. Okay. And uh, we're going to enjoy the game. Of course, we hope we beat him. Well, I think he needs us to uh, change the lineup around. Um, things the way they are now just aren't working. Rev's got the talent, but they're just not uh, hitting when they need to hit. I think their defense are, is okay, but just lacking in hitting. So he needs to move some players around. I was playing with the York White Roses. We happened to play Elmira. He was catching and uh, just got to, uh, you know, not know him real good, but uh, got to know him and be around him. And, uh, you know, at that time, uh, he was a heck of a ball player. And he was, uh, he was a battler. He didn't have all the ability in the world, but uh, he, would, uh, he would battle you to the end. And I think uh, the little bit I saw of him now, I think uh, that's the kind of manager he's going to be. I'm here because of Andy, but uh, whenever I wasn't in my seat, Andy always wanted to know where I was. So, in fact, one game I told him we needed more runs, and he said, how many? And I said, three. And he said, we only need one. But without anything, we got three. So he comes back and says, your wish is my command. So we, we love Andy. We wish we had still had him, but we hope that he does a good job for New York. Trade if they need it and get what they get pitching and just find something to jumpstart them. Unfortunately, uh, you know, we're just a little short in ball players. And uh, uh, no matter how good a manager you are, you can only... Uh, do so much, you got to have the horses in order to win.